Yo, what is up everyone? Bama Saltwater Fishing, Steven here. I wanna go fishing this evening. It's pretty dang hot right now, but guess what? It's summertime in the south. It's gonna be hot for a while. But I need to collect up some bait. I don't feel like going and buying any bait. I don't feel like using any shrimp right now because it's just gonna get eaten up. So I have my eight foot cast net. Let's see if we can make it worthwhile and try to collect us up some small minnows. So here we go, y'all. Saw real tiny minnows. Hopefully there's some in there that will stay in the net. Oh, we got something. We got a few. There we go. So that wasn't a bad first cast. Got some of these real tiny glass minnows. They're gonna go back. They don't live very long outside of the natural water they're in. Did catch a little bitty shrimp. That's pretty cool, catching shrimp from my backyard. But he's gonna go back, let him go get bigger. My bait of choice right now seems to be these pinfish. Look at that. That's a perfect size bait. So I'm gonna try to make a few more casts, see if I can get some more of these. Check that out. Got a few more here. Perfect size. Y'all, I think I found the mother load of bait. Check all that out. These are all little bitty menhaden. There is some pinfish mixed in there that I caught earlier. But see this? This is a menhaden or a pogey. They don't live very long, but man, does everything eat them. They're very oily, great bait. So I have a whole angle full. I'm gonna go put them inside so it can kind of cool down and I can cool down some. And then we'll come back out here and do some fishing, y'all. I'm excited for you to join me. This will be exciting. Well, we just showed up to our first structure that we're gonna fish. I'm out here in Anchor before they're going into Mobile Bay to load up. And they also come out here in Anchor before they head somewhere else. So you can tell this one's empty. It's sitting really high in the water. Put the troll motor down and get us a live bait under it. So it's time to get us a live bait out. Looking for one of my spots. There we go. Spot croaker right there, perfect bait. So there's a spot croaker. Hook it in the back of its dorsal, just like that. And we're gonna drop this down. I'm gonna try to get this down and then I'll show you the rig real quick if we catch something. It's just a simple knocker rig. Drop her down about 30 feet or so. See what happens. Oh, we're already hooked up. Okay, y'all, we're hooked up already. Oh my gosh. Mm. First drop. And we have something pretty good. Uh, Dad gum. All right. Well, this is awesome. Don't know what it's gonna be. And we know it's gonna be a fish, just what kind. Oh, I think that's gonna be a little toony. The way it's running. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, this is fun. Get up here. <clears throat> yeah, the way it's making a big circle. I think it's gonna be a bobo. <sighs> Come on. <clears throat> Golly. Get up here. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm at my top shot. Wow. What an aggressive sucker here. Come on, man. Show yourself. Wow, that is a big little toonie, or bobo. God, it's a big one there. That's a big bobo. <laughs> no wonder it fought so hard. Yo, look at that little toonie. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at this little toonie, AKA Bonita, false albacore. Really good size one. Man, that was cool. I'm gonna bleed them out, throw them in our 
fish box and get another bait down. Heck yeah. Let me show you the rig I'm using real quick because that didn't take long at all to catch something. I have a five alt circle hook set up as a knocker rig. So that means I have a one ounce weight coming straight down to my knot. I don't like putting any beads or anything in between that, but this is a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader and I have about six foot of that leader. Small game conventional reel, 40 pound braid as my main line and a seven and a half foot extra heavy fast action conventional rod. Let's get another live bait out there, see what we can get. Let's grab another one of them croaker. Where you at? Oh yeah, that's a good one there. See, there's an actual croaker. The first thing I dropped down was a spot. Practically the same family of fish. I like to hook it right behind that dorsal and here we go. Let's get it back down. Oh yeah, something grabbed it. I'm gonna let it feed. Ah, and we're hooked up again. Mm. Ah. Come on. I think it's another little toonie. Pretty sure. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, that's definitely a bobo. See all that? Yep, there it is. Mm. <laughs> These things are cool. I mean, they're pretty abundant out here, but you normally don't see them this big. Oh, he's pulling some drag. Here we go. There's my top shot. Boom. Oh. <laughs> That's a big bopo, y'all. We're gonna keep a couple of them. It's a big one. There we go. Check that joker out. That is a big one there. One of my bigger Bonita. That's so cool. We're gonna keep a few of these, bleed them out, throw them on ice. Really cool. If you've never seen a little toonie before, they're in their mackerel slash tuna family, the Scumbrede family. Really. Really neat fish, pretty colors. Their fins fold so flush, just like all the rest of the tuna. Everything sits flush, that's how come they can be so fast. They do have very, very small teeth, but he's gonna get bled out and thrown on ice. Here we go again. Another spot croaker going down. All right, I'm hooked up. A nice fish. Pretty nice one. Again, I just moved to the alongside the freighter here. It's gonna be another little toonie. No, what is that, a king? Uh, no, I think that was a little toonie. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Just took all the line that I got from him. <laughs> this thing's so fun. The hard fighters fast runners come on I got a piece of jellyfish on my line and the worst heartburn ever this morning I mean ever but we're still getting it done come on buddy <laughs> he was like, what was that? That's an even bigger one. Oh, come on. Come on. Get up here. Alright. I'm gonna de-hook this one because I don't want another one. They are fun. Get my de-hooker. Here we go. Oh, 
there you go bud and he gone all right it's still not a cobia but those are incredibly fun <laughs> Especially ones that size. Those are mega bonita. Hey, good morning, everybody. What is up? Oh, I look a little scraggly. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> y'all, what an awesome day to be out on the water. I mean, any day is great to be out on the water, but when it's fairly calm and not raining yet, it's an awesome day to me. But y'all, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Mossy Oak, also by Dakota Lithium Batteries. That's what's going to power that big old 36 volt trolling motor I have and also what powers my boat. Y'all go check them out down below at the end of this video if you're thinking about picking anything up from Mossy Oak Fishing or Dakota Lithium for your boat, golf cart, kayak, or just general power needs. So y'all, we have some birds here working, have a plethora of artificial baits. I have a Nomad Chug Norris Popper, Nomad Mad Scad, a Nomad Vertrex Vibe, and then a ridgeback jig one and a half ounce as well so y'all we're gonna get up close to these birds kind of run and gun and see what we can find this morning i'm happy that y'all can join me let's get a fish on deck oh already hooked up <laughs> oh that was fast i immediately threw that in there and just hooked up this is a nomad vertrex buy well that was cool didn't even have a second to put the line on the roller. <laughs> Interesting. That was awesome. You know, it's 6.30. I've only made about four casts out here. And already hooked up to something pretty big. I ain't no telling what it is. I threw the popper for a little bit with not much luck. So... I picked up this Vertrex Bob, passed out, and y'all saw what just happened. What are you, buddy? You gonna take me back this way? It's just gonna take me around in circles. These things do not wear down easy at all. I mean, at all. Come on. There you are. Get your butt up here, man. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. First thing this morning, that is fun. Y'all, let's get them on deck. I'll show you what this is. If you haven't seen one before, and I'll show you what I caught them on too. Get my net out. Dead. Oh, he gone. Uh, try that again nice big old jack all righty y'all that was a big old jack Craval. hoots came out but this is what i'm throwing this little nomad vertrex vibe 110 some 50 pound fluorocarbon leader i have an fg knot going from my braid to fluorocarbon now this is a 6,000 size reel with 30 pound braid and a dark matter seven foot three inch medium power moderate action rod y'all can go pick this rod up down below in the description it's linked for you Let's try to get another one. He hit it so fast that I guess he wasn't hooked that good right under the gill. So we'll land another one. Let's get one. <laughs> Already worn out though. Here we go again. Typically when you find birds like this, you're gonna find some sort of fish underneath. There's a pogey. Oh, hooked up already. Again, sweet. Yes, finally. I looked away because I saw a bunch of bait jump beside the boat. Now I'm hooked up again. <clears throat> all right. See if they'll stay pinned this time. See all this bait? That's what they're chasing after. Them and the birds. Y'all, we're hooked up again. Hopefully we can actually get them on deck and show you. They hit it so fast. Maybe he has more than one hook in them this time. Jacks do not wear themselves out very fast. They kind of fight to the death almost. They're Jack Craval, probably some redfish mixed in. Who knows right now, because I haven't seen it. But I'm hoping it's a Jack Craval so we can get redemption on the one I lost. 
Oh yeah, look at all that bait. It's disturbing. That's so cool. They're blowing up. Look at all the blow ups. Oh my goodness. How cool. And these things you can pretty much catch from March until like October, November, depending on the temperature. But this is awesome. Lots of sign of life this morning. These things are really only fun to catch like once after that, you're just worn down. Kind of like an amberjack. They're both related to each other. Except these hang out a lot closer to the beach. So you can catch them from land. You don't have to go very far. Oh, he wants to run. We'll let him run. <laughs> See that? We had him close. I'll be able to put a little bit more pressure on him once I know how well he's hooked. Hopefully he's hooked decent. Yeah, they're all over. My buddy Perry, Captain Perry. All right, there he is. Come here, Jack. <laughs> Get over here, Jack. Where are you going? All right. Just trying to go around the boat again. Come on, you. <laughs> Just doing that circle. Let's see if I can get a gaff on. Where are you going, buddy? Here he is. <clears throat> All right. Oh, got him, but barely. There we go. That's a big one. A little bit bigger than I thought he was going to be. Oh, yeah. That's a good, healthy size Jack Craval. And see that croaker colored nomad in its mouth? He liked that a lot. <laughs> How cool. Y'all, so he's going to be bled out and thrown in the cooler. There are a lot better eating fish than these. Not necessarily trash fish, they are edible. So he's going to be bled out, like I said, thrown on ice in the cooler. How cool. Big joker right there. All I want is one. We're going to mess around with something else now. <laughs> Pretty neat. So I was able to get that out pretty easy if you don't have one of these these are called baker hookouts they're stainless i've had this on the boat for about two years now works pretty good when they're kind of deeply hooked but he ate that lure <laughs> that was fun i need to bleed them out and what we'll do is take a knife and cut right along these gills so let me show you i like to go to the very back of the gills because their gills is what brings oxygen to the rest of their body from the water well, it brings it to their heart pretty much. See that? I made a decent slice and it's bleeding out. This is graphic. It's more humane that way to spike them. They'll have residual nerve movement, so they'll be moving, but now it's bleeding out. It's gonna be a lot fresher. These are very bloody fish, as you can see. Y'all, I just got back home. It got pretty sporty out there. A little windy. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Here's my pretty 24 foot bay boat i just want to show you real quick my battery setup i'm running for my trolling motor just in case you're looking to repower your boat with something actually decent quality that will last a while you'll see me use my trolling motor almost every trip i absolutely love that thing and so you want to make sure it's powered good that's a 36 volt trolling motor it takes three 12 volt batteries wired in series which you could do that or you could do like this especially with limited space there's my charger it's charging excuse the dust i installed a new horn but that's my 36 volt dakota lithium battery it's one single battery 36 volt you just add the tray on there and hook it up and you don't have a whole bunch of wires running in series and you have one solid battery to power your trolling motor they also have 24 volts and they have 12 volts if you're running a fish finder on your kayak they make ones for that as well y'all dakota lithium and Mossy Oak will be linked down below along with all the other partners of the channel. Y'all can go check them out. There are some promo codes down there. So like I said, if you plan on picking something up, it'll save you some money. Appreciate you for watching. Also, I have hats still on BamaSaltWater.com and limited stock. 
different colors. Y'all can check them out. So we'll see you in the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's amazing to see the channel growth. As always, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. So we'll see you later.